A man whose wife and infant daughter died when a fire was intentionally set in the middle of a night to a house in Green Valley Ranch in 2020 has just filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the three teenagers arrested in this case. Actually, five family members were killed in this fire. It's such a sad story. Joining our conversation this morning about this, our continued coverage of the story, Nine News legal analyst Whitney Trailer. Thank you so much for coming in. Sure. This is so interesting. So this is a civil lawsuit. Will the criminal case have any impact on the civil lawsuit? Right, so that's a great point because to start with, because there's a civil claim and a, and a criminal claim. And as we know, you know, a criminal claim, they have to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. On a civil claim, it's just the preponderance of the evidence. So it's a lower standard. They're two separate claims. The criminal claim could have impacts on the civil claim in the sense of what they said when they testified and those types of things that could come into uh, the civil lawsuit. But we don't know whether they're going to take a plea or what what the status is on the on the criminal case at this point. So with this many defendants, again, we said that there's three teen teenagers here. How would any award, if that happens, be divided up? Like, could the plaintiff, you know, um, collect from all of them? Or are they kind of equally at fault? Right, it's a great question, and there's something called joint and several liability, which means that you can either go after one defendant or all of them. And so, what happens a lot of times? So here, these plaintiffs, they um, they filed uh, a claim against multiple defendants, and some of those might be dismissed after time goes on. But they don't know right now they're, who has insurance, who was involved. So if you look at the complaint, they actually sued. Um, they named the parents of the you know, alleged perpetrators, mm -hmm. the young the young kids who did this. Uh, the kids, um, they mentioned that they drove in a car that was authorized by the parents. So they're gonna be looking at homeowner's insurance, auto insurance. They even sued the, the folks who lived in the house who were also victims, but they named them because of insurance, because the insurance policy will cover these damages. So interesting. Now, can there be other plaintiffs, like let's say a neighbor says they had smoke in inhalation, can they go after that as well? Right, that's a great point. And yes, they can. So this is something called sort of uh, negligent infliction of emotional distress. So if you're the neighbor and uh, they set this fire and you're completely traumatized, mm -hmm. and, you know, is that foreseeable that a, that, that a neighbor <laughs> may potentially um, be overwhelmed and have all these emotional traumas because of this fire that was set next door to them. So there can be other plaintiffs as a result of, look, you, you traumatized me, that, and this was foreseeable. If you set this fire, is it foreseeable that other people may get hurt, that they may be damaged, that they may be emotionally distressed? So I wouldn't be surprised if there were other plaintiffs. We were just talking about how so so the the teenagers who allegedly did this intentionally set the house on fire, but they were it was the wrong house. That doesn't change really the charges in the criminal case, right? That's correct, okay. right? Because the question was, did they intentionally set this fire? Whether it was for this person or this person, it, it doesn't really matter. Did they intentionally set the fire and was it and did they cause these damages? And and it looks like they did. Yeah. All over a stolen cell phone. Well, and that's what's so um, distressful about mm -hmm. this. I mean, we have the legal analysis, but you, you have to, I just couldn't um, not notice the, um, uh, the other aspects of it, the moral and ethical yeah. aspects and how quickly um, these folks get fired up. So this, this young man thought his, his phone was stolen and made the decision then, I'm going to go literally try and and, and kill these folks, right. literally try and start the fire. That's, that's what it appears to be. And so I think there has to be some discussion about um, the emotional yeah. fortitude of these young folks because that was just such an extreme response and right. it's not necessarily unusual when these kids um, react that way. So terrible, such yeah. a terrible story. Whitney, thank you for coming in, really appreciate it. Good to be here.